Goudreau has his first training camp with the Canucks, and he is behind the bench for this one in the Kuzmenko setting it up. And the puck is picked up by DeKaiser, who sends it out to center ice, intercepted by Zidane. Phillips back in, just on side. Here's Rizicka. Let's go to the shot stop by Spencer Martin. And the Canucks can't be able to look at the Another good setup there. Failed to go, and the puck trickles back to Wolf, who's able to cover for a faceoff. They control the puck and now stolen. Garland trying to throw it in front, blocked neatly by the goaltender Wolf, and he'll cover again for another faceoff in the Calgary zone. They're 0 for 2, and the game remains scoreless. The camp checked at center. And in comes Emilio Peterson. Nice pass. Back in on McLean. Uh, you get players that think, okay, where do I go now? And McKayev has it turned over. Beautiful pass by Peterson to McLean and McLean. Quick backhand move up and over the shoulder of Spencer Martin. Wristed towards left by Nikita Zidora. Here's the shot on the other side of the post. Swift beat Martin stick side. And as you say, it helps that there was a sweepstakes and he feels confident going into the season. Silly five goals, and as you say, just couldn't get the angle on him. The rebound's there, and uh, off the toe of his stick because he's on the backhand. He can't pull it towards the net, and you can see it rolls off the hook. Let's now get what would be the first part of the unit in this game. There's a rebound. plays on either team have had hard pass and Horvat tips it and again good positioning by Dustin Wolf mentioned this would be the first power play <laughs> you saw Valerati here and we are watching this here's Phillips dancing in and now she's going to center for each guy and the other side first minute he's tricked by Pedersen he's able to force the puck out to neutralize Shannon Rathbone out there nearly two minutes. They'd like to get off the ice, but they can't right now. There's a shot. Rock is recovering the slide. No! It's a good bank to the end. Martin did well. Recover, make the save coming to his right. But the Flames threw the puck on goal. Ben Jones able to bank it in off the bank of Renette Miner, and it's 2 0. Well, here's the shot, and you can see Spencer Martin sliding left to right, and look at where his foot was past the post and he never got a chance to get back into the net so it's off his pad and in that right skate Archer's Seelobs has taken over in goal for the Canucks to start period number three Dustin Wolf now Valimaki with room at the blue line tees it up Stone lets it go off the blocker loose in the crease and Seelobs what a welcome to the game as he made the right arm save, and the veteran Danny DeKaiser diving in behind. Seelos has been here for a while working with Ian Clark before camp, and he uh, gets over in good position. As we approach the two-minute mark of the third, Calgary leading two to nothing. There's a lead pass, Kuzmenko's in, right side, he shoots, and a blocker save by Wolf. Under a minute to go on the bank of the power play. Just about six minutes into the third. Flames leading two to nothing. Here's a chance. Short-handed. Brett Ritchie stopped by Seelos. For a better position. Canucks cough it up. Ritchie right down the middle between the hash marks. And Arson, on the other hand, in the last eight seasons has 52 pro plays. Yes. 
29 of them in the East Coast League, 23 in the American League, including four last year. Here's Tyler Myers, another right wing. Got past Pod Colton, nice move, cuts in front, deep scores! Colton room so that he can cut to the middle. Here's Tyler Myers, and watch them go for Tyler Myers. And that gives Pod Colson some room. And there's Myers behind the net. Fenceman turns, goes with Tyler Myers, takes him, takes him down, and that leaves Pod Colson a lane. Now the puck bank back to Chet Wu. Here's Kalanick. Wyatt Kalanick coming in front, loose puck, Pedersen jamming away, and Wolf able to cover the bottom half of the net and make the save. This pass by Kalanick goes right to Pedersen off a skate. Shen, who was among the league leaders in hits last year, was fourth with 273, and he got a good one there. Flames, though, set it up. Valimaki to the net, kicked out by Seelock. Rebound, he stopped that as well. What a save there. Uh, Jacob Pelch. First save, rebound, pull, drag, move, and out goes the left leg. Pelch didn't get it up. Canucks with six attackers, minute 45 to go, trailing by a goal. Horvat intercepts. Gets the puck to Kuzmenko. Andre Kuzmenko to the blue line. Jack Rathbone. Kuzmenko top of the circle. Down low. Elias Pettersson. Hard pass. Garland scores in his own rebound. And so the Canucks have control. What a pass by Elias Pettersson. Right through the crease. And Garland bangs it off Wolf's pad. Gets it right back. Look at that pass. Hard right through the blue paint. Aerial so that the goalie can't get it. And then Connor Garland gets his own rebound. And the puck is chipped to the near side. The guys are intercepts below the goal line. And the final minute. Two kicks on the goal. Myers checked by Matthew Phillips. Down the net. Comes up front. Try to wrap around. And Seelob's able to reach out with the blocker and cover that puck with 31.3 seconds to go. One last chance for Calgary. McLean to the middle. Schmidt tried to throw one on goal. That was knocked away, and that's going to do it. This game will go to overtime. And set to go in overtime. Canucks in overtime in the regular season last year went 5-7. and seven. JT Miller had three of their five overtime winners. Calgary went 4-9. and nine. Making changes. Adam Puck has come on the ice. Takes it past the Vancouver blue line. Gets around Pot Colson. In on goal. Pot there. Checked from behind by Pot Colson. Takes Klapka. Klapka's cutting in, and there's Pot Colson. Flames control. Stone to Phillips. Gets a return pass. He and Pelche playing catch. And now they switch positions. Here's Phillips across. Stone scores. Matthew Phillips with a perfect cross scene pass to Michael Stone, who one timed at home, and the Flames, after surrendering a 2 0 lead, win it 3 2 in overtime. Phillips goes wide, and that creates some open ice for Stone. Oh, it's a forehand pass. Phillips just slid it across, waited till the seam was there. One timer for Stone, and you can see Phillips wait, wait, wait. That creates some open ice, and Stone makes no mistake. Perfect pass. Another look at it. Look at this pass. Boom. On the forehand.